and welcome back to my happy place, this is Julia. If you're new here, hi, I'm Julia. I make videos about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and all the crazy in between. I hope you enjoy your first visit. I'm so excited for this video. As you can see, it's another cooking video. It's been a while since I've done anything like this. And I'm so excited because for you guys who don't know, I'm actually really into cooking. Um, that's one of my favorite hobbies. So for this video, what I chose is to show you guys how I do my egg bites. Recently, I've been really obsessed with Starbucks egg bites. But then I realized that I've been spending so much on it. So I'm like, hmm... What if I learn how to do it myself, you know? Everything is better at home anyways. You have more control on what you want to put on it, especially if you're trying to eat healthier. And also, it's more affordable. Affordable. I don't know why I said that's so weird. It's more affordable when you do it yourself at home. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do egg bites with ingredients that I just found in my kitchen. Let's normalize that, you know? Like, we should all be um learning how to utilize whatever is in our kitchen so right now i'll show you how i do it i'm not gonna babble any longer <laughs> i know i tend to do that a lot i just talk and talk but yeah let's do it let's get to it all right guys so first thing to do is to preheat your oven that way it's all warmed up and ready to go as you're doing your prep work you know um so preheat your oven to 350 degrees Alright, so next step is to prepare your ingredients. I have here one fourth cup of cottage cheese, two cups of egg whites. I buy from a carton, it's just easier. I have here about a cup of Monterey Jack cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like. You can use feta, mozzarella, whatever you like. I like it very cheesy, so I'm using about a cup. And then I have my protein here, about 120 grams of pepperoni that's about 32 slices i have three slices of turkey bacon about three ounces of bell pepper that's around three and a half pieces yeah so just chop them all up ready to go and then i have my spices here um how much ever you like it's just to taste you know um, salt, granulated garlic, basil leaves, black pepper. Again, for the spices, you can just you can choose whatever you like. Okay, now we prepare the first part. So we get a blender. Um, here you put the, the egg whites. Cottage cheese, and then the Monterey Jack cheese or whatever cheese you like. salt and pepper to taste about a teaspoon about half a teaspoon is it really, really up it's really up to you um granulated garlic So the more, the better for me. Some basil leaves. For that added oomph. And then you just blend it all together. So yeah, you just blend it until it's smooth. Looks beautiful. Okay, so next, get a bowl and then combine all the protein, the bell pepper. Mix them all 
all up. And then, pour in the egg mixture. This already smells so good, guys. So good. I wish you could smell it. All right, that's ready to go to put in the pan. Okay, next is to put it on the muffin pan. Most people grease it. Um, I'm a little lazy, I don't know. But what I do is just put slices of, tiny slices of butter on every, So it melts with it. It gives it added flavor. And yeah, top so it doesn't stick. And then you just divide it among the pans. I mean the among the cups. So, okay, so it's gonna be a little messy. Don't judge me. Smells so good. It smells so good, you guys. Make sure you get um, a good amount of protein in there in every cup. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna fail more than 12, so I'm gonna get additional muffin cups. Okay guys, so it looks like it filled up an additional um, quantity of three. <laughs> so yeah, I guess the whole recipe Having 12 plus 3, 15. <laughs> Bro. But yeah. So that entire recipe is 15 servings. Next is to put it in the oven. And just leave it in there for 20 minutes. Alright guys, it's ready to go. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh, baby. Yes. So yeah, just let it cool down for a little bit before indulging. Alright guys, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let me know in the comments below if you would try it. And yeah, I would love to hear what um, you would put on it to make it your own. You know, like what kind of toppings, fillings. Yeah, 
I'm so interested to see that. Um, get those creative juices flowing. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. That's with virtual friends. See you guys in my next video. Bye!